Hey everybody, I hope you're all having a great week. So this week, as soon as we've finished the tree painting now, I'm going to prepare some backgrounds for future pieces because I like to prepare in advance. And we're going to do some printing just using found natural materials and using natural materials for the paint to do the printing and just to see our mark making, just to see what results we get. So it should be fun and I always love getting my hands dirty and printing so it's going to be good to do. And I'm also working on a new painting which um, if you go to my Instagram you'll be able to see some sneak pics of that as it's being created. So I hope you're having a great week and I look forward to chatting to you soon. Just leave me a comment down below if you'd like to ask me anything about how I make the paint or where the rocks and the colours come from or anything like that. Just let me know. Have a great week. Hey everybody, I hope you've had a great week. So today I'm going to do some printing, some abstract mark making on this piece of paper because I like to prepare a background. I'm never quite sure what's going to go into it what I'm going to paint on top of it, if you see what I mean, but uh, I like to have a background prepared in advance. So, I am going to do some printing. And I have with me some Eco Gesso, which I got from Natural Earth Paint, which is just a white gesso. I'm going to put it into one of these little pots, just a dollop of gesso. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> and then I'm going to mix in with it some of my, oh, I've already got some mixed actually, some natural pigment. In this case, this is actually soot from somebody's fireplace that I filtered and ground so that it makes it a smooth paint and just a little dab of water probably quite a lot of water by the looks of it and we're going to make a lovely leaf print to start off with I think it's going to give it a good mix it's going to be quite grainy so that's okay and then I've got all of these little bits of uh, materials that I've just been on a lovely walk to find and I'm going to use just some of my earth pigment watercolors later and maybe some walnut ink to just print literally dip in and print so these are all of the lovely seeds and things that I found these little things make fabulous little spidery shapes so you use these in works a lot and obviously poppy heads you just print the other side oh there's still some seeds in that one I thought i'd shaken that but obviously not enough they're really really good this i thought would be fun to try it's a pine cone that's been eaten by a squirrel probably and i thought that just might be an interesting print and then these are more different types of poppy head that have a different sort of head. Uh, this is a fabulous plant. I'm not quite sure what it is. Anybody tells me, anybody knows, let me know just how it's seeded like this. I don't think it's going to get much of a print, but it might be quite good for mark making. And these are just more of those little cow parsley heads. And then some leaves. I'm going to start off with leaves just for the background because they're the biggest and then I'm going to gradually add different colours and print. So very easy, literally just paint onto the back of your leaf and then wherever you want, turn it over. I like to use a cloth. 
to flatten it down. This is going to be very light, but that's okay because I want the background light. And then just peel it off. And because I've used the gesso, it's also going to have a lovely texture. I love these prints. And I like to just print just a few leaf backgrounds in a couple of different colours. And I like to just keep printing the same leaf before adding more paint because then you get lots of different textures. I'm going to go in now with this other leaf. Same again, I'm going to use the back of the leaf because the back of the leaf is where all the veins are. So you might get a little bit more texture there if you print. Should we have this one up there? You can see you just keep adding these leaves wherever you want and you can use this in any kind of art that you like. This one's a really big leaf. Let's see. What's nice as well is if you want to add two different colours to the same leaf. If you've got bigger leaves you could add like half the leaf in one colour, half the leaf in the other colour. Give it a really good, quite even press. And peel that off. Oh, that's lovely. Let's see if we can get another one just at the edge here. Yeah, that's lovely. Happy with that. So I'm going to go in with a different colour. So I've used now a lovely okra, which you had. I'm just going to add that on the top. This would make such a beautiful ode to autumn background. I'm using autumn found leaves and you can obviously change direction however you want I mean I'm just being quite random with this because I want it to be kind of like falling leaves because I'll probably be painting a tree or some kind of scene on this and it'll be an autumnal scene. Some of these leaf prints you might not even see in the end. Just go in with a different leaf. Now we're going to try printing with the squirrel's cone just to see what marks we get from that, if any. Mm, it's okay. It's quite strong. The blobs of paint it's leaving, I quite like that. I'm also going to go in with this tiny little poppy seed. This paint might be too thick for that. I might have to go in better with the watercolour. So let's just see. And we'll just get nice little circles. Oh, lovely. You need to give it quite a firm press. I found these tiny, tiny little stars as well. I'm 
Now this one was one of my paintbrushes that I made on one of the little short videos. You saw that and it's a poppy seed head again. And I've just added a different colour. This is actually charcoal. But because it's mixed, that's lovely. Because it's mixed with the white gesso, it's a lot lighter. And I'm going to add all these little, they look like little stars. I'm just going to dip it in again. So when you first put it in, it's like a round flower. And then as you get more, it's like little stars. I did have some tiny little stars, but they seem to have vanished. I've also got these fun things. So I'm just going to break one off. And just coat that in a little bit of paint and just see what happens. Hmm, little circles. Kind of sucking the paint up and releasing it. It's quite fun. And that's what I love about doing these natural prints. Is you never quite know what you're going to get. I'm going to have a little collection of circle dots up here. I think that looks really pretty. I keep skipping rough there, I don't know why. So I'm going to go back in with this tiny ivy leaf I had got and just add some of the black charcoal to that. And let's just see if we can get a darker print in this corner. Oh yeah. Maybe a bit over top of some of the other ones as well. And then just where you want them. There you go. And you can obviously, you can be random like I'm being, or you can be deliberate and place them where you want to. You could actually do a whole piece of art like this, but this is just a random background. And I'm going to carry on just adding a little bits and different colours until I've got what I want. Hope you have a great week and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.